What's up everybody and welcome to Apocalypse Gaming. Today we're going to look at my favorite 5 legendary commander. This is not overall commanders, only the commanders that I have and I used and I like to kick ass with. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright guys, let's have a look together at my countdown. For myself, I'll speak on the commanders that I used and I like to use and they helped me a lot. And in the fifth place will come one unique commander. I really, I know it's understatement to have him in the fifth place, but for me, there is a lot of better commanders that came out when I played the game for a little bit. So he comes in my fifth place. And why? Because he is one of my favorite and all time favorite, Charles Martel. And I still use him until today. So, what does he do? He has an active skill, direct damage factor of 1200 and damage bonus 30%. So, pretty good, pretty nice, strong uh, first skill. And then his second skill is a passive skill and it goes with his expertise. And infantry health, uh, infantry led by this commander gain 20% defense and 20% health and 20% increased march speed. Really pretty awesome. Again, health come into play. Defense, he is a garrison beast. KVK1, KVK2, even KVK3. I have used him as a garrison. He is great, great, great commander. While this commander is leading the garrison of your own city, garrison troops gain 10% increased attack and the watchtower gain 10% increased defense. Pretty awesome, watchtower defense bonus 10% and garrison attack bonus 10% when he is serving as a garrison for your own city. And his last skill, passive skill and counter damage guys, and this is one of my favorite skill for Charles Martel. Honestly guys, this is one of my favorite. Counter damage up to 30%, I don't think you can get better than that very strong i really like this commander and when you get his expertise as we said you get 20 percent defense health and march speed not only 15. guys i use martel everywhere i even if you watch my life in the last kbk4 heroic anthem lost kingdom 11058 i'll put the video up there for you to check it out you will see i use them a lot of time in the open field i use them as a tank march secondary behind richard this is how i like to use him and in murder balls he is great when you get attacked you get way better trades even though you don't have an aoe a strong aoe that goes and damage everybody but he is very strong he comes in my fifth place and yeah really great commander highly recommend him for garrison players early game you're really going to be on top of everybody early game with this commander and guys in my fourth place comes another very, very unique commander. And again, it's really an understatement to put him here in the fourth place. But the one and only Sir Richard the Lionheart. Guys, he is one of the beasts in this game. You use him everywhere. He's still used until today. Open field. Osar in, in, in an arc of Osiris, you see him a lot. In... in in a garrison, I don't know, I don't like the healing part with the garrison, so I'm not a big fan of him as a garrison, but maybe in Ark of Osiris, why not fill the hospital, it's everything goes to the hospital, so it's a pretty good, uh, if you don't have Zenobia and all this uh, late game commanders, guys, let's go look at the first skill, and here it is, he is the best healer in the game, 1400, and damage reduction 30%, and Mars speed reduction 15%, oh i really like him and i like his skills who doesn't like healing and not any healing his skill every time give you healing it's pretty awesome damage reduction 30 percent i don't think he can get better than that and march speed reduction it's someone trying to run away and you get them with the aoe oh, they are slowed down by 15 percent his second skill it's a passive skill and take damage taken reduced by 15 percent and counter damage bonus 10 percent and that's why i say i really really like 
Richard Martel. I get 40% counter damage. Baby, bring it on. Attack me. I wanted to attack me. With the right equipment and the right bits and pieces and tree, talent tree, you should be able to get quite a lot of uh, counter damage out of this commander. So, yeah, it comes to my fourth place, Richard. I really enjoy him. And it comes to his third skill, passive skill again, and it attack for infantry and defense is 15%. Really, guys, again, great skill. 15% attack, 15% defense. Uh, I think I think he's a great. Troop led by this commander receive 30% increased healing effect and take 30% less damage from watchtowers. So here it is, guys. Another healing effect enhancement, which helps you 30%. You can't ask for better. He is the healer and he is the man. So, and when you get the expertise, Passive skill troop led by this commander take 5% less damage from all sources and all infantry units led by this commander deal 2% increased damage to cavalry units every 10 seconds. The target march speed is reduced by 50% for 5 seconds. Absolutely great to get a new skill with him and guys he is the best, the best, the best. Commander, you use him for barbarian chaining. You cannot get better than him. He gets swarm. He gets healing faster. He is really, really one of my favorite commanders. And guys, in third place comes the one and only Mr. Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great, one of the best early commander that available for infantry players that can make you really believe you can take on a city, you can rally cities, you can beat people open field. He is a beast. I really, really like him as an infantry player. And look at his first active skill, Shield of the King. Give it to me, baby. Alexander gained a shield that lasts for four seconds, which can absorb a large amount of damage. 1,200 damage can be absorbed. That's pretty good. And during the effect of the shield, up to three enemy troops in the circular area take 30% increased damage for four seconds. You can't get better than that. Get him, baby. Meanwhile, he puts up a smaller shield for the alloy troops, including his own troop, with the lowest percentage of units in the circular area of the effect. So if you're in a murder ball, for example, and you have a couple of your friends around with a very low health, put one for himself and one for the alloy troops with the lowest percentage of health which is pretty good and it can absorb up to 600 damage factor that's pretty cool so he will get pretty much he, alexander on his first scale would be absorbing up to 1800 from from the first one 1200 plus 600 as he puts another small shield for himself that's pretty good 1800 he can absorb he is a beast and look at his second skill comes his passive skill. While on the map, troop led by this commander are immune to all damage reduction debuffs. And the normal attacks have a 10% chance to deal an additional damage to target. Damage factor, 1700. Oh my god, listen to this damage. And reduce its healing effect by 30% for 5 seconds. So... Direct damage factor, another 1700 and healing effect reduction to enemy minus 30%. I think that's pretty awesome. And here is, comes his third skill and it's a frontline commander passive skill. While on the map, infantry units led by this commander gain 30% increased march speed and 30% increased attack. And he is an attack beast, and I don't think he need any more but more attack. So we get 30% bonus of Mars speed, and we're gonna get extra infantry attack health. He is a great, great commander. I really, really, really like him. And we look at his full skill, comes a passive skill. When not shielded, troops led by this commander gain 40% increased attack. When shielded, troops gain 30% increased defense instead. How awesome is that? When you don't have the shield of, that absorb a lot of damage, this commander gain 40% increased attack. And when you have the shield, you will be having an extra 30% defense. I think that's pretty good. And it clearly says instead. So that means it takes off the other one. And comes his uh, shield of the king. As we can see, when you expertise him, 
So during the effect of the shield, up to three enemy troops and the circle take 30% increased damage. So when you get the expertise, you get an extra thing within your AoE, which is uh, increase 30% uh, increase the damage dealt to enemies within the circle. So I think it's pretty good. He's a pretty beast commander. One of my favorite. My favorite pairing with him is YSG as a secondary. Oh my god. And for sure, Guan as a secondary also is very, very staunchy because he is tanky and the other one deals a lot of damage. But Alexander is a damage, 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 damage baby. I really like him. Yeah. It's so hard to choose between them. And here guys, in the second place comes the one and only Guan Yu. I love Guan Yu. He is a very unique commander. Insane damage dealing commander. And not only that. He's silent. He's silent. He stop your rage. You can cast your bloody AoE when you want to. And especially if there's 3-4 around you. And they're all attacking you. You'll be silent for quite a long time. And you will see your march just root. Goes read and disappear. And this is everybody. Guan Yu for you. Guys look at his first skill. Absolutely insane. 2000 direct damage and when as a secondary commander he actually deals 1000 direct damage pretty awesome pretty straight and the extra bonus thing here which is better than all of that you get to silence your enemy for three seconds i think he is a great 5111 commander as i'm using him at the moment or for sure 5155 because if we go look at the second skill here when you attack a stronghold and city so when you use him as a rally commander which you've seen in my streams a lot of rallies were Guan Herald, but you see you get 15% normal attack damage bonus and attack reduction 30%. That's pretty good guys. It's very good as a rally commander, very strong with the right equipment. Oh, does he give you what he came for? Pretty strong guys. I really, really like him. And if we go look at the third skill, it's a passive skill and he gets attack bonus of 30%. And Mars speed bonus of 15% and healing factor of 1000. And why not? Why not? How awesome is that? That much damage command the deals. And he also gives you some healing. And he can rally cities and stronghold and beat Zenobia YSS sometimes. I think that's pretty good. And when you look at his four skill, it's pretty good. If you deal direct damage to one unit, so you're not hitting more than one unit, you're only dealing an additional damage factor of 1000. But if you awesome AoE hit two or more people, for example, in a murder ball or an open field battle, you'll be able to deal 1400, 1400 additional damage factor. That's insane amount of damage. And look at the expertise. If you were lucky enough to get an expertise, you will be very happy to be pairing him with Alexander. Because whenever Guan Yu gains a shield, shield, sound like Alexander gives a lot of shields, he also increased his skill damage by 15%. Oh, I don't want to be the one to be taking this AoE. Whenever Guan Yu leaves the structure, you will also get 100% Mars speed bonus for 3 seconds. This is pretty awesome. Pretty strong, pretty fast. Heals your troops, rally cities, rally strongholds, rally flags. He is the one that you want in AoE. He's silent. I love it. I love the silent. That's what I use him for, just the silent. And guys, in the first place for my for my countdown, there is one commander that is so unique, so unique that nobody can disagree on this. He is one of the most unique commanders in my eyes. I really like him. Out of all my commanders that I have, he is the one that I could pair with anybody. I can use him as a primary. I can use him as a secondary. I can do anything I want. I can really put him behind infantry. I can put him behind uh cavalry commanders he is a beast a beast a beast let's look at the one and only yi son g baby <laughs> his first skill let me tell you get him expertised otherwise it's waste of time you must expertise him to get the circle uh, shaped area because once you get the circle you'll be able to hit everybody around you when you it's it's one of the best AoE you'll come across. Very similar to Thadora AoE, but he is a beast. Guys, up to five enemy troops in a circle shaped area. Damage factor 1700. Damage dealt to each target is reduced by 15% for each additional target. Guys, he is a beast. 
absolutely a beast. 1700 is absolutely amazing. When, and I'm saying that to you guys, you must get him expertise. You look at the second passive skill, Rage Restored 100, Archer Attack Bonus 100, baby. What do you want more than that? What do you want more than that? He's absolutely a beast. And if you're going to use him as your garrison commander in early game, trust me, he is a beast anywhere you put him and he would never let you down. Garrison and Watchtower Attack Bonus is 10%. I think that's pretty good. He is great anywhere you put him. And look at this skill. And this is the skill that makes Yu Sanji or Waiyashi, whatever you want to call him, the beast commander ever in my eyes. Guys, look at this. Passive skill. Troop led by this commander again. 50% increase skill damage. Guys, let me just tell you something. This is saying, if this is 1700, this is a hard number for me to divide. But anyway, let's say it's 850. You will be getting 50% on top of that, which is another 850, which is more than 2000. 200 something it's pretty awesome damage he is a beast you see his aoe he is the one and only commander in my eye i use him on daily basis he is my favorite barbarian chainer with richard we go together in kvks for hours with chain barbarians and he is a great open field commander i normally use him behind maybe alexander is sometimes i use him behind richard but he is a beast whenever you want to use him. I remember KVK1, KVK2, KVK3. He was my secondary, my secondary commander in all my garrisoning. He is a beast. He is my favorite. And I think maybe in KVK3, I moved a little bit to Constantine Martel, which I think his name should be Consta Canyon. No uses for him at all, but in the Canyon. I'm not one of, I don't really like him much. I got him and I kind of regret it, to be honest. That I wasted any golden heads on him, but... This is what it is. And this is it, guys. This is my top five legendary commanders. Tell me what's your favorite five legendary commanders because I'm an infantry garrison and my commanders are very limited for open field. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Boom, boom, baby. See you.